People rush from near and far to their TV shops They don't need a colour set to see my flashy clothes They don't need a great big screen to capture all my nose I'm alright, you're alright, everybody's feeling alright tonight Now's Do you know that only reached number 40 in the charts? Sometimes we did get it right. That's Steve Wright, he's alright. And that new boy Scott Mills, he's alright too, you know? Thank you, Steve, but it's not goodbye. It's au revoir till 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. He's back for love songs. Is that the record over now? Hello? And it's au revoir from me too. Till next Saturday night. Thank you to my 80s guests, Claire Grogan and Gail Field. Thank you, Johnny California, Sinead Ward, Sounds of the 80s with Gary Davis. It's a listen production for BBC Radio 2. Fern's coming up next, Sounds of the 90s. I'll see you back here next Saturday at 8 for more Sounds of the 80s. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Good night. It's Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app, your smart speaker and 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at 10 o'clock. This is Nikki Cardwell. A 34-year-old man from Liverpool has been charged with the murder of Olivia Pratt-Corbell, the nine-year-old girl who was shot dead when a gunman chased his intended victim into her family home. Another man's accused of assisting an offender. They'll both appear before magistrates on Monday. From Liverpool, Eunice Muller reports. It is almost six weeks since Olivia Pratt-Corbell was shot in the chest and killed in the Duffcote area of Liverpool. This evening, Assistant Chief Constable Chris Green said detectives had reached a significant stage in their investigation. Thomas Cashman from the West Derby area of Liverpool has been charged with the nine-year-old's murder and the attempted murders of Joseph Nee and Olivia's mother, Cheryl Corbell, who was injured. He's also been charged with two counts of possessing a firearm. Another man, Paul Russell, who's 40, has been charged with assisting an offender. Liz Truss has arrived in Birmingham for the Conservative Party conference as she tries to rally support for her economic plans. The Prime Minister's refusing to scrap wide-ranging tax cuts announced in last week's mini-budget, despite turmoil on the financial markets and calls from some of her own MPs to rethink the strategy. President Zelensky says the Ukrainian flag is again flying in the strategically important town of Liman in Donetsk, just a day after Vladimir Putin declared the eastern Ukrainian region would be Russian forever. He's been speaking in his nightly video address. The Ukrainian flag is already in Liman. Fighting is still going on there, but there's no trace of any pseudo-referendum. For the enemy, there'll be more and more mismatches. They've already started biting each other there. They're looking for the culprits, blaming some generals for the failures. The Kremlin insists all its troops have pulled out of Liman. Kiev says many Russian fighters were killed or taken prisoner. Protests about rising gas and electricity bills have taken place in a number of cities in the UK after the price cap per unit increased overnight. Typical annual bills for households in England, Scotland and Wales have gone up to £2,500. Government-funded support is due to begin this month. Football and Arsenal stay top of the Premier League table thanks to a 3-1 win over their North London rivals Tottenham. Elsewhere, Liverpool drew 3 all against Brighton at Anfield, leaving them ninth in the table. The Reds manager Jurgen Klopp admits it's been a tough start to the season. So I cannot say that um, I was 100% convinced that we will not concede a goal um, when we were 3-2 up. Yeah, the score three three and that feels again like a defeat, even when it's not a defeat. Yeah, that the confidence level is now not um extraordinarily high. Um and we have to fight through this. And the weather blustery showers across the northwest tonight. Heavy rain will move in from the west across southern parts of England and Wales, dry everywhere else. BBC News, it's three minutes past ten. What are you looking at? Hey, how are you doing? Sounds of the 90s. 3D, wine, wine, and toss it, let's talk.